Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at Facets Yarn by Loops and Threads. The first thing I thought when I saw this yarn a few days ago was like, wow, that's a brand new yarn. But then I did some research on it and I realized, oh no, Loops and Threads has had this before. Although I think it's new colors. That being said, when I first saw it, the first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, that looks just like Unforgettable. So I thought, you know what? I, I really would like to see how these two work up next to each other. And that's what I'm gonna do for you today. First, let's go over the package. It says it has 297 yards. It's 3.5 ounces. It is made in China. The color is violet or violet. The care instructions say hand wash cold, do not bleach, dry flat, do not iron. I've never actually thought of ironing yarn, <laughs> but a lot of these say don't iron. so. I'm just gonna say don't iron. It'll probably melt. Okay, it is a medium four weight and recommends that we use a six millimeter crochet hook and it is 100% acrylic. This, to show you what the yarn looks like, is, yep, that's a solid four, I would definitely say. It's got a nice, Nice twist and it looks like the color changes are very, very subtle. Looks like it blends together. Okay, now I'm gonna show you a skein of Unforgettable that I kinda wanted to compare it to. The Unforgettable is very pretty also, kinda has that same kind of, same kind of look to it. This might be a little shinier. It, both of them say use a six millimeter crochet hook. And this has 270 yards. The loops and threads facets has 279 yards. So the facets actually has nine more yards and it is 3.5 ounces, the same as the loops and threads is 3.5 ounces. This is, I believe it is 100% acrylic as well. Machine wash and dry. It doesn't say anything about ironing, but it does have the iron with the X, so don't iron it. And I think that's it but they feel very similar. I would say the Unforgettable has more of a wooly feel. And if you know Unforgettable, you know it doesn't feel super wooly, but it does have more of that feel than this one. This is a little little shinier, but, they, but as for softness, they are definitely equal. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna crochet up a swatch of this. And I'm gonna crochet and kind of talk along and tell you what I think about it as I go. I'm gonna pull it out of the middle. We're gonna hope we get it on the first try. Oh, look, lucky. Well, kinda. We'll, we'll see how it goes from here. It would be nice if all yarns had that you know, center pull. That was very convenient, already sticking out with like a cute little little sticker on the end telling us, yay, you've done the right thing. But until that happens, we will just have to wait. Okay, I'm going to make up a swatch of 10. Well, so I'll chain 11, so there'll be 10 stitches. But I do wanna show you what the thread looks like on this. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of got that look to it. 
Let me see if the unforgettable looks like that. Unforgettable is a little different. It, it looks like it stays together better. It, it's not like, well, once you kind of play with it, it does have that kind of spready apartness. But anyway, and let's see if it comes apart. Nope. There's no pulling it apart. All right, I'm going to chain up 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then I'm just going to go across with ten single crochets. One, two, Are you getting a good chance to see what it looks like there while I'm crocheting it? Do I need to go a little closer? I want you guys to almost be able to feel the yarn with me. I wish we could do that. I wish there was a way on the video where I could just send a little piece of yarn and say, here, feel this. But until technology catches up with us, I guess we'll just have to use the words and the pictures. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Whoa, hey, it looks like there's going to be some sort of big to-do here coming out. <laughs> it's all part of the process, am I right? We must be patient with the yarn. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this through. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force anything right now. <laughs> okay, well there, there, we force it. Is part of that another piece of yarn kind of Okay, that belongs to that. And I'm sure all of this part I'm going to cut out anyway, so da -da, da -da -da. feels like there would be a problem with it splitting, but so far I haven't had any problem with it splitting. I'm going to try the frog test in just a minute too. Let me get a couple of rows in and then I'll frog a row. Because we all need to know the frogability of the yarn that we're going to be using. It feels very soft as I'm using it. I feel absolutely no roughness at all. And it seems pretty uniform. I mean, there's a little roving to it, but there aren't any huge discrepancies in yarn size. Like it doesn't go all the way up to a six and then all the way down to a one. I've seen some yarns that seem like they do that. What I'd really like to do is get to, um, I want to see that what the color change looks like to see how drastic that is. Also, I can't tell now what the frog is going to be like. It does seem like there, there's some fuzz to it. Can you see that kind of uh, the halo around the yarn? But we'll see. I actually really, really like crocheting with this yarn. It's very soothing. 
much like Unforgettable. And I'm going to go one more row up and then I'm going to frog and we'll see what it's like. We'll see what the rip it out is like. For those of you who don't know, to frog some yarn is to unravel your project because you just need to, whether it's you made a mistake or you need to start over again, but it's really kind of disconcerting to have to frog, <laughs> to rip it out. All right, let's see what this, uh, the frogging is like on this yarn. Oh, it's very easy. It's so easy I could just keep going. There didn't there wasn't any kind of bad vibes about that frog. Granted it wasn't a huge piece, but I don't want to unfrog the whole thing. <laughs> but it was easy to frog. I had no issues. All right, I am going to finish up the rest of this swatch and then okay I'm going to finish up the rest of this swatch okay I did I'm not finished with a swatch yet but I did just want to show you that there was one break in the yarn I didn't break it it was where it was tight already tied like this and it goes to a not subtle color change but I don't that's not how all the color changes go that's just I guess it's a, a mis, not a mistake just uh, you know you know you know what I mean it's where they broke it and tied it <laughs> okay back to the swatch okay let us start with a red heart unforgettable now i have done the honors of starting the yarn there was a huge thing of yarn barf but we're not going to think about that right now now just feeling the facets is thicker than the unforgettable so and, and it doesn't it doesn't feel as as satiny the unforgettable doesn't so the facets has a more satiny feel now that being said I am just going to go ahead and crochet a couple of rows and then finish making the swatch oh here comes the rest of the yarn Okay, how many stitches did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Perfect. Facets does have, it's like, it feels a tad bit bigger, a tad bit fluffier, and a tad bit silkier. Okay, I'm going to finish up this swatch and then, and then compare the two swatches for you. Okay, this is what these two look like side by side worked up. They're kind of curling a little, not laying flat, but you kind of get the gist. They're roughly the same size. And 
You can see this has a little more shine to it than this one. But I would say roughly they are the same. I mean, they're different colors, but they both come up with a very similar swatch. This one does feel like, a, like it would be a little heavier and a little warmer, but this one feels like it would definitely be warm too. So yeah, when you go out to get some facets, if you've used Red Heart Unforgettable before, it has, uh, has a very, very same feel. I definitely recommend this yarn. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna be making out of it yet, but I will definitely, definitely keep you guys updated. I'm thinking, I'm thinking a couple of hats <laughs> or a cowl. I'm not sure yet, but it's definitely gonna be something pretty for winter. What would you guys make? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear and if I do end up using a pattern that you mention, I will definitely be giving you a big thank you and a shout out on a future video. Okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.